Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to show you a cool new feature of Vault 2022.1, the new update, where you can change your previewer to be the Forge viewer as opposed to Autodesk Design Review. So about a week or so ago, I installed the Vault 2022.1 update. And after I had done that, I had found out that they made a cool little switch here where you can actually use the Forge Viewer as opposed to the Autodesk Design Review built-in as your previewer here. So it gives you a cool new pieces of functionality. Uh, it's not automatic after you do the update. I want to show you where you can make that change. But first off, let me just show you here. If I go up here to my help, I go to about Autodesk Vault Professional, which I have the pro version on here. You can see I am on the 2022.1 update. Now, you have to do this on the client and on the server side to make sure Vault's working right. You want to make sure your client and your server are on the same service pack level. So if you want to do this and you haven't done the update yet, you'll have to update both sides. But now that I'm on that, if I go OK here and I go up to my tools, and my options. You can see here default settings for viewing files, Autodesk Design Review. This is a drop down, and I can say the Autodesk Viewer, which really is the Forge Viewer that they have for online viewing. Now, one thing I did find out is even though this is the Forge Viewer and Forge usually does things online, this all is done locally. There's no connection to the internet to, to calculate these previews or anything like that. It still requires the DWF though. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. That underlying DWF that kind of gets published when you check files in. So I'm gonna say okay to this. Let me just pick a, a drawing here. This part's the same. I kind of get the little pinwheel here. I click my preview. And now notice how it says Autodesk Forge. And now I'm in that preview. Notice my tools down here are a little bit different. One of the things I like about this is that I can do a markup right here or I can do a cloud markup and notice here something happened with the font that the diameter symbol isn't there it's the end so I can kind of do a little cloud here and have my leader to that and I can say check symbol and once I have that let me kind of zoom out here so I can get the whole drawing and then I can hit this save snapshot so what save snapshot's gonna do is gonna allow me to save this as a PNG somewhere on my desktop. And I'm actually gonna call this markup 101. And I'll hit save here. It'll let me throw it on my desktop. I'll hit save. And let's just open it up and see what it looks like. You can see I opened up that PNG. There's my markup there. Uh, I didn't quite get all of the drawing in the view. That's why I kind of zoom out. You can do it zoomed in. It doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of how close or how far away you want your preview to be. All right, I jump back into Vault. I'm going to exit the snapshot. And if I jump to, let's say, an assembly here, let me find an assembly that would be a good thing to work with here. So same thing with the assembly. There's a few other functionality or other things that I have here. So kind of squish this back down a little bit. So you can see I've got some tools across the bottom here. I've got my same markup. They're kind of falling off the screen just a little bit here, but I could also go into a view where it opened this up in a larger viewer. And I can make that full screen. Let's go back to the smaller screen. One of the things here is I can do explode mode where I can have this file explode since it's an assembly. I also can get into the, the model browser where I can see the structure of the files. I can turn things off and on. I could also get into the properties where I can look, click on a file, get into the properties of that, get a little bit closer look. So there's some really neat things here that the Forge Viewer gives us that we didn't have before. Just a couple of things to remind you is it is part of the 2022.1 update. You still need your DWFs that get published into the vault. And if you want this to happen, you have to go into your options and change that previewer. So well, that's all that really is to it. You can see there's some really nice functionality here. I like the markup functionality the best. That's my opinion.
But you also see you get some of the explodes and some other things. There's a few other things that it gives you that I didn't get into. Go ahead and install it. Turn it on and check it out. You might like it a little bit better than what you have already in terms of the previewer. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and something you can apply in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.